Hey, it's Cora here from uh, 10 Properties in 10 Years. And today I'm on the um, uh, Live, Long, uh, Live Long Digital Show with Prosper. Um, and we've been dis we're going to discuss how you two can get into the property market and get 10 properties in 10 years and actually set up a passive income that not just affects your life, but changes your generations beyond you. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Goro, the property investment specialist himself. Goro, how are you doing, my man? Awesome, dude. Awesome. Um, it's been a great day today. Fantastic. We can't wait to hear all about it. Now, obviously, as entrepreneurs that are watching this show, you know that our mission is to help you have a business that's actually profitable and you actually enjoy working in it. Now, if you have made a bit of prop, uh, profit in your business, you might want to look for investment vehicles or investment uh, instruments that you can put your money to. Now, property and brick and mortar has been a lucrative um, you know, channel that even I utilize in order to actually create wealth and prosperity for my family and the future generations. Now, this is how it is. Property investment for most people is something that they actually want to do, but they find it challenging. Now, the truth about most investors is that they actually struggle to get past maybe the first property or the second property. And for you to succeed you know, in this property investment, you must actually partner with somebody who is a professional um, in what they're doing and has industry experience. Now, you will start getting results. And like anything else, people that have a passion for what they're doing are the people that we bring onto this show so that they can help you and show you and pave the way for you to actually start creating wealth for you and your future generations. Now, Guru, Tell us a little bit about how it all works at 10 uh, properties in 10 years. Nice. Well, thank you for the uh, awesome introduction there. Um, before I actually talk about how, uh, what we do specifically, let me educate a lot of your business owner clients on the difference between property and business. A lot of people get confused that business is a wealth creation tool. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not. Your business is one of my, I learned this from one of my greatest business mentors. Your business is a monster that eats cash flow for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? And so it's not a wealth creation tool. What defines, I guess, um, actual monetary wealth? You know, you've got your physical health, you've got your mental health wealth. Um, but your monetary wealth, what defines that is something that not only you can enjoy, but your children and your grandchildren can enjoy a legacy, Understand. so to speak. Understandable. Right? That, that, that is quite remarkable. Legacy is where it's at. Yeah, exactly. And um, it doesn't matter what sort of business you're in, even if it's a network marketing business. Let's be honest, if you're even remotely successful in your network marketing business, it's no longer a passive income because you're actually working actively in it, right? Understandable. So, that's it is because it's a business and you you know the rules of life say if you don't put energy and effort in it it won't succeed that's that's it there is no easy way out even when it comes to property investment right what my role is is to help people start the journey and help them get close to their goal a lot quicker and not make the same mistakes that some of my clients in the past had made before they came to see to me or more importantly the same mistakes I made when I first started my journey, right? So you don't pay an expert for what they know. You pay an expert to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes they did. Understandable. Well, obviously when it comes to investment, it is financial education that you never really get uh, to learn at school. And you also did mention that you made a few mistakes and hence you um, went into this business. Just walk us through how you actually got started and what inspired you to start working um, in the field of uh, property there, Gora. Well, you know, I've got to start from when I was um, 16. Um, my dad actually started uh, going to some property seminars. And at one of these seminars, he was told, bring your children because the knowledge you can give your children is, is going to be worth millions and millions of dollars. So he bought me when I was 16, 
gave me the book Rich Kid Poor Kid to read. And I actually started enjoying these seminars and these events and uh, started learning even though I wasn't old enough to buy a property. I learned and uh, when I was 18, my parents gave me a choice. Hey, we can buy you your dream car, right? Or you can take the old family car. We'll buy a brand new shiny, you know, Land Cruiser. <laughs> but you're going to get the old, uh, old Camry. <laughs> And we can pay a deposit for your first house. Or we'll buy you your dream Lexus. Which one would you prefer? I actually picked the Camry and bought my first house. Now, that first house wasn't necessarily the best purchase, but it set me up with a foundation of the method to create wealth, right? Because my second property, I purchased, for example, for 320000 It's sitting at currently 900000 at the moment. That's a bit of a jump. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. I hey, don't know. Where else can you make 600000 passively in 15 years? Right? Under or understandable. Now I know when we get to catch up, who's buying the drinks. Okay. So, <laughs> so not everyone, okay, not everyone starts off with, you know, getting an option of getting a, a lower version mm -hmm. car and, you know, the, the, the opportunity to get their parents to set them up on a... Um, you know, deposit. The first thing that you normally would do is really assess somebody's current position, their financial mm -hmm. position, you know, their investment experience and what their goals are, et cetera, et cetera. What is it that you would be looking uh, to find so that, you know, somebody's watching right now and they're probably fearing that maybe I'm not uh, good enough. What is it that is in your first initial consultation that you talk to them to initiate the journey with them? Well, even, even before I initiate the journey, I asked them to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right? Because the first thing we have to eliminate is fear, which um, usually stands for F everything and run, right? Yes. Um, right, so we want, we want to eliminate fear. And the fear, there is good fear and there's bad fear, just like this fear of debt. This fear of debt in general, we want to eliminate the fear of, good debt you want to keep the fear of bad debt like going on holidays is technically bad debt right um but investing in increasing um your wealth through property and in, yeah increasing your loans that's usually good debt because that debt helps you make money that debt i took on at that stage of two hundred and sixty thousand dollars now has helped me make six hundred thousand dollars profit right mm -hmm. as an example so that's good debt that debt, that debt, that leverage helped me make more. So the one of the first few things I ask people to do is read Rich Dad Poor Dad, whether it, it and it gives you a great foundation for any business. Now, when they come to me, I then say, hey, look, what are your goals and what are your outcomes? Do you want to do this um, as you know someone who wants to buy maybe two or three properties and keep it sort of conservative, or would you like to go aggressive and you want to buy ten properties in ten years and you're all in, right? Or you want to be somewhere in the middle? Then we ask. What's your current situation? And how quickly um, would you like to get out of that situation? And we've come up against something recently where we can provide our investors, for example, three times the amount of return a typical property would get. And we're not talking Airbnb. We're not talking about distressed rentals. We're not talking about the national rental affordability scheme. We're talking a method which we've created. I can't reveal it now, but it's helping save people's lives and providing three times the amount of rent a normal property would. Hmm. That's pretty um, noble there. So maybe after this call, uh, maybe you yeah. and me should have a little chat and see how we can get <laughs> that all figured out. Okay. So, all right. So now depending on the outcome of, you know, you've, um, you know, established that this person is probably an ideal client. Um, mm -hmm. In the initial session, you found out that, you know, they, their appetite for, debt is, is, is a good one because they understand and acknowledge that good debt is the one that is actually going to start creating wealth for them. What will be the next uh, step for them now? Are they just going to be thrown into the belly of the beast uh, in picking up a no, problem? No. Do you hold their hand, That's... you know, put them in a comfortable cushion somewhere while you are marinating the barbecue? Well, this is, this is, this is where it all starts really um so our first thing we do is send them out a bunch of books to get their mindset right including richest man in babylon so as you can hear mindset's almost more important than the strategy right 
So richest man in Babylon to give them a good foundation of what their savings should be. We then send them a series of educational um, educational things about how finance works for them, including my what I call my mortgage terminator strategy, right? Um, and that strategy is basically I can show most people who live in Australia, which is where we are, um, how to pay down their own home loan in the next six to ten years without doing anything but this one small change. And we use what Albert Einstein calls the um, the eighth wonder of the world, which is compound interest. Compounding interest. Okay. Yeah. So I teach people how to use that within themselves and use their businesses as a tool for that, right? Um, and so that's part of the education process starts there and at the same time we get them finance ready because um, I have an interest in a mortgage broking company, all right? Um, and so we have a mortgage broking expert come in and assess their financial capacity. Then one of my, one of my team members actually gets in touch with them um, in regards to which property, which area we'd like to look at. We decide, do we want to look at Melbourne? Do we want to look at Brisbane? Do we want to look at Adelaide? Which areas are going to be right for them? Then once we decide the area, then we look at the suburb profile. Is the Westfield in that suburb? Um, is Aldi's going in? Hey, you know, where's the closest Ikea? So we get really in depth with the research when we share that with the client, right? In the meantime, the finance is happening in the background. Then we find um, something with land components somewhere and help them buy a property there, right? And I've got rules. It's got to have land. If it doesn't have land, it's not making you money. Un understandable. That's, that's the name of the game. Um, every, land is where it's at. You know what I mean? If you're going to be buying an apartment two, three years down the line, somebody's going to buy uh, build a taller building there and nobody's going to want to come through to your place. And there's also, um, you know, all, all, all the fees that you have to pay, you know, especially in, in, um, in an yeah, apartment, body corporate. Body corporate and everything else like that. That's a very good and wise mm. strategy there. So in that, that's when you now take people across and, you know, start executing, um, you know, the, the, the process. Now, from start to finish, normally how long does this all take? Well, uh, typically this process takes three months for the first property purchase to be complete from start to finish. It's not a small journey and that's why you've got to put in the time and effort. Um, but for example, one thing we're doing recently is actually sourcing clients land. Um, hold on. For, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. One thing we're doing is that we're sourcing clients land. Um, and uh, sorry, I'm being distracted in the background there. <laughs> one of my team members is trying to come in and uh, distract me, which he's managing to succeed in. So one of the things we've been doing recently is helping source people land and saving them an average of thirty to 40000 on the way in. So they've made that money on the way in. Um, I'll give you an example of a land I've purchased recently. I purchased it for three hundred, uh, just under 300000 before, and I had it on a 60-day settlement, which means the land settles in 60 days after I signed the expression of interest. I made $60,000 in that time. So, so that's, that's like passive ten, income. That's like $10,000 a day. No, it's a thousand dollars a day, but that's oh, still sorry, ridiculous, sorry, yeah, right? One thousand dollars a day. Yeah, that's okay. ridiculous. Who makes a thousand dollars a day? Next, ladies and after gentlemen, tax. That, this was the last episode of this series. I think I'm going to be switching carriers from now on. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Guru, for, for making this revelation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, because clearly I'm in the wrong business. Um, yeah, I think. All right. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> Where do I sign up? Who do I apply to? I need to. <laughs> okay, that's, 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 pretty cool. that's what we do. We're helping people save that kind of money. And like, you know, the best, the best advice I was given as from leadership training was leaders go first. Right. Understandable. Um, yeah. And so I go first in all of these, uh, as many projects as I can. In the last 12 months, between dad and I, we purchased six different properties alone. Okay. Right. Six in the last 12 months. So people ask me, can you do 10 and 10? Of course you can. You can do 10 and 10. Yeah.
understand right? and the idea is to keep that money flowing mm, great stuff so obviously from what you're saying um there's a lot of uh financial education that needs to be um you know devoured well in advance before um you know you you, you get into this because all of this high skill um high risk um you know you know strategies that you're talking about really really needs to be executed when somebody is in the right frame of mind so you help people by actually giving them the books you help people by them maybe uh, mentoring them could you tell us a little bit about the whole mentoring process and how people can mm -hmm. jump on board uh, just in case somebody's been watching this and especially heard about the one thousand dollar a day uh, phenomenon so yeah and they're probably thinking how can i get a hold of uh, goro there well and believe it or not that was just the land if i um just uh, i will answer that question in a second but um on that particular property i'm looking to make a further passive income after rent and after loan expenses a further passive income of 40 to fifty thousand a year guaranteed for 20 years <laughs> right so i mean like i don't say this to impress you but i like this is stuff i can't reveal to the public because of facebook's ad ad um ad freaking um you know yeah, things like that and financial planning and weird rules and, right and i must also say um there has to be a disclaimer on this because uh results are based on your input results are based on your appetite uh, of you know the, the the risk because wherever there's big money like it's being talked about there's also a big risk that's lurking so um you know 10 in 10 properties and live long digital are not going to be liable for your <laughs> getting so rich you might just jump off a building with excitement when this starts yeah. happening all right just in case anybody exactly. else decides <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is not for them. great stuff right so, Yes. And the simplest way to get in touch with us is either um, get in touch with me via email, which is goro, G-O-R-O, at 10propertiesin10years.com. There's no AU. It's 10propertiesin10years.com. You can go to our website as well or our Facebook page and click contact us and me and we'll, or one of the team members will give you a call. We'll walk through the process and we'll decide, hey, are you a gold client or are you a diamond client or are you a platinum client, right? what level of client and what level of mindset and how ready for the journey are you? Understandable. That is one profound uh, interview we've just had here because a lot of um, people get muddled in the whole uh, scare tactics that, um, you know, the, the media is putting out there about, oh, property slump here, property bubble here. And then it sort of stops them dead in their tracks. And, you know, property investment for most people is something that they want to do, but they find it very challenging. There's a lot of mathematics involved. There's a lot of, you know, um, moving parts. You got to be conversant with accountants. You got to be conversant with mortgage people and also, you know, builders, land distribution, et cetera, et cetera. So the truth is a lot of investors, um, may go through with the first one second one maybe when it goes to three it becomes too much of a strain um first on their well-being and on their budget and just on them as, as as a person so you actually do need um you know property gurus like goro uh that would actually help you through with all the decision making they've been um you know working and know the strategies and they know the ins and outs and actually have uh ways to get you out of um you know your fear or that slump you might be in right now agoro i can't thank you enough have you got one two or three last words that you might give to somebody who's just probably sitting on the fence um has heard you talk about um all the benefits of what you guys can provide but it's still you know, umming and ahhing, thinking, is this the best, um, you know, vehicle for me? What would you sort of, um, you know, you know, advise anyone who is about to begin? Well, the, uh, there's no such thing as a perfect vehicle. But the best vehicle in my model of the world is the vehicle that allows you to grow consistently and effortlessly 
while you do what you're passionate about, whatever that passion is. Because let's be honest, very rarely is it someone's passion to be in property, but everyone's life is made easier by making a hell of a lot more money. Understandable. I like, I like bricks. I like doors and windows. So I'm passionate about them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm passionate about taking more holidays, man. Like, honestly, that's what I use my money for. Freedom is right. one of my biggest, um, one, one of my biggest values in life. Understandable. Great stuff. Well, thank you so much for your time today. And um, I hope that if you've been watching this show, you've gotten a little bit of a nugget on how you too can actually start putting your foot in the property investment um, you know, corridor and just see how else you can actually diversify your wealth building um, options and use property as an investment. Thank you so much, uh, Gaurav. Thanks, Prosper. Great stuff. How do you think we went? I think we went great, man. Great riffing there. Yeah. <laughs> You're a funny guy. I love it. <laughs>